And we are live. I hope you're all doing amazing today. I just want to make sure everybody can hear us. We have a surprise today because Dr. Sandra Rose Michael is actually in New York. We're both in New York together right now, ready to have an amazing live show speaking all about everything that you guys have asked. So first and foremost, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who are joining us here today for this spectacular live show. There has been a lot going on, as I'm sure <laughs> you know on your side. <laughs> a lot has been going on over the past few months. I want to give a little preface um, before we start diving into all these questions, because there are literally thousands, as you know. I mean, you've shared in our last interviews mm -hmm. over 70,000 emails and growing literally every single day. That was in the first weekend. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's unbelievable to see the amount of traction that this has gained. And the truth is that it's not my doing. It's not Sandra's doing. It's all of our doings together. And that's this like army that we're creating right now. Call it an army of light, an army of truth, an army of healing, whatever you want to call it. That's literally what it is that we're doing right now. So on May 27th, we put out the first interview, <laughs> The Revolution of Healing, all about this incredible technology that's actually right behind us right now. This is a, a double cube with some interesting stuff that you see on the screen. And we're gonna dive into all those questions, but I do wanna give a super, super big picture overview. So everybody understands what's been happening over the past few months on, on both of our ends, really. May 27th, this interview comes out. For those of you who don't know, I was actually sent to Las Vegas to interview Dr. Michael by TLS, which is the organization that I'm affiliated with. That's a whole other very long story, but I, I do just want to put on the record, I don't take credit for the expansion that everybody's seeing around the world right now. This is their doing, this is their work. Nothing could, could have grown this quickly without an incredible army behind the scenes to make this actually happen. So in just about three to four months, when we both first asked with that call to action, open centers around the world. We have over, and this is just on the Unified Healing Network, which really helps everybody bring this to the awareness of the people. As of today, we have 58 confirmed centers around the world in 25 states around the United States. This is in less than four months in over six countries. That doesn't happen because of one or two people. That happens when we unify and really come together to make a change and start taking action instead of waiting for that savior to say, okay, we're gonna do it for you or please do it for us. This is a literal indication reflection that we are making the change that we want to see in the world. And for that, I'm grateful for each and every one of you and Sandra, I'm grateful for you for being a part of this journey. What, what an amazing journey it's been. We just wanna heal the world. And I'm, the stories that I've been seeing and the testimonials that I've been receiving and likewise with you, with all the messages that are coming in, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable to see the amount of people that are experiencing unbelievable benefits. Now, before we dive into this Q&A, there are a few things that I have to say that I'm literally obligated to say. Everything that you are going to hear here, and this is a disclaimer, it's up to you in terms of what you want to do with it. None of this is supposed to be taken as medical claims. These are testimonies, these are observations, these are recommendations based on the inventor herself, and that is it. What you do is up to you completely. I encourage you completely, go and speak to your doctor, go and speak to whoever you trust as an expert or a professional or whatever authority that may be to get a second or a third or a fourth opinion, but ultimately, the decisions that you make after these questions are answered are completely up to you. And I can't say it enough. These are not medical claims. These are testimonials. These are experiences. And this is knowledge acquired through experience. That's all it's ever going to be. Or it's all about energy. It's really all about energy. And it's still up to you where you go with that energy or what you do with that energy. And we want to empower people to have the energy to change their mind, to change their lives, to change their bodies, to change the world. Absolutely. And again, that's that's exactly what we're seeing. And the power is really coming back into the people. So 
We're going to dive into this. I want to remind you all, when it comes to finding a location near you, go support these people because they've done everything. When I say these people, we're talking about tons of people all around the world that have stepped up, taken out loans, sold their homes, done amazing, amazing stuff and taken huge steps because they believe in this and they wanted to bring this to the people. So there is a link in the description below to find these centers having to do with the Unified Healing Network, which pretty much is that overall network of individuals who came together that said, we're not going to charge over a certain amount. We fit this mission, we fit this vision, and we want to come together to make this accessible and affordable, which all in all was my task when I was sent to interview <laughs> you. My task was from the organization directly, you have one mission, you're going to find a way to make this technology as accessible and affordable as possible. I did not know how that was going to happen, but I guess this is kind of how it's going. So make sure to go check all those centers out, all those locations out on the network itself at unifiedhealing.com. There's a link in the description below or pinned in the live chat above. And as for the centers that are recently opened as, as of September 22nd, which was yesterday, we have of those 58 confirmed centers, there are many open, but right now we got Boca Raton in Florida, Scottsdale, Arizona, Commerce, Michigan, Lehigh, Utah, Murray, Utah, Hillsborough, New Jersey. That's an amazing one, by the way. I know Marie very closely. Yeah. Santa Fe, New Mexico, Vernon, British Columbia, Canada, uh, Cartersville, Georgia, Mount Kisco, New York, and Georgetown, Maine. Mount Kisco, New York just opened today, literally, wow. September 23rd. And Georgetown, Maine is opening in about a week on October 1st for everybody. Make sure to visit these centers and any other centers on the network. You can find them at unifiedhealing.com. There's a link in the description below you to check those out. You also did an interview with Marie. I did. And that's on your on your channel as well. That's right? on my channel. That's on unifiedhealing.com. We put all those interviews in one place so everybody can find them and really make that like one stop for everything energy enhancement system. And, and the interview technology. I loved was, was with Janie. Yeah, uh, uh, no, not Dr. Jamie. Baker. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Baker, Baker Dr. in Michigan. Dr. Machine Baker. Yes. Yeah, well, you'll have to interview Janie. That's another one. Baker. <laughs> Dr. Machine Baker, uh, free healing for veterans. Amazing. Have you know? I've had my people sharing that widely and excited about that because that's what it's really about: is making this available to the people, and and let's support the people that have invested so much to step forward and bring this to the world because the instruction to me to this one is when this went out it had to be everywhere fast yep. everywhere fast so it couldn't be stopped and so it's it there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come and it's this we've waited a long time for this time and people are ready we're here we're here right now willing and <laughs> <laughs> all righty let's dive into this we're going to start with ailments. We're going to go into detoxes. And from there, we're going to go into the logistical questions. Again, there were thousands of questions sent in oh, wow. tons of you, literally tons of you sent in questions. We're going to go one by one on the most popular questions. And with whatever time we have left, we'll take it from there. So let's begin with kidney problems on the ailments. Oh, I'm jumping right in. We're, we're going to jump right in. We, we got no time to waste here. There are people that are asking if you've seen any success when it comes to kidney failure, kidney issues. Again, I want to emphasize these are not medical claims. It's just testimonials and what Dr. Sandra and other people have seen themselves. So what can you tell us when it comes to the kidneys themselves? Oh, well, I mean, and you can go back on our website. There, There is, um, I mean, I mean, there was originally in some of the um, original research with uh, Dr. Greg Gerber, he had somebody with kidney failure on dialysis for four years, start producing urine again after four years, you know, things like that. So we do have a history with that, but let's talk about the ones that are, that I've heard just since the the new centers. Sure. Just, just with the new centers. Uh, I have a Dr. Stella in Las Vegas. He had somebody with um, kidney failure after, after you know, some of the issues that people have been dealing with very recently. Mm -hmm. Had kidney failure, and after one hour in the twenty-four unit system, 
that he has there, she had a seven point increase in kidney function. Wow. After just one hour. And of course, she's gone on to, and done more and, and improved dramatically. That also I mentioned uh, in Utah, Janie, uh, she had somebody go from 30% kidney function to 70% kidney function. In what period of time? Um, I think that was more like in, over a couple weeks of of using the technology. So I'm assuming weeks. they're doing tests before and tests after. Yes, this was. These are confirmed tests. Okay. I mean, medical tests. Working with their doctor. Yeah. Gotcha. That's a, how do you explain something like that? How what what is this technology doing that brings that out? Yeah, and again, it's just healthy energy. It's hyper healthy energy the body relates to for regeneration. Okay. You know, literally want to regenerate the body, regeneration. But essentially, the power that made the body heals the body. I talk about this over and over because that is my background. And, and it's like, how do you plug the body back into the cosmic light socket mm -hmm. and give it the energy to function more perfectly? Because the body wants to heal, wants to heal and function perfectly. That's its natural state, really. It's its natural state. So it gives the body the energy to heal itself. And, and it's activating, mobilizing the body's stem cells, because that's our mechanism of healing. So it's like a stem cell treatment <laughs> I got without you. doing, you know, without taking out the blood and culturing it and re-injecting your stem cells from placentas or anything like that. This is activating and mobilizing the body's stem cells because a lot of the results we see, you would never see unless you, it was doing that. Was so without being, obviously, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. I just do my <laughs> best to use my brain and think, but from from what I've seen, from what I've heard, from what I've researched and mm -hmm. studies and also spoken to you, the, the simple way of understanding this, which I think will answer a lot of questions in one shot, because a lot of people are saying, is it good for this? Is it good for this? Is it good for this? And the answer that I'm hearing over and over again is it's an overarching sort of field that it's creating of healthy energy, hyper healthy energy, like you're saying, that allows the body to do what it does best, which is heal itself. Yeah. Which really means that for all these individuals that are asking, is it good for this and this and this and this and this? The answer can be yes for all of There isn't anything it's not good for because it's just healthy energy. You could see it like a wireless human battery cha charger. <laughs> there. And um, when my doctor says, he asks people, do you have DNA? Then it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> but it's, it's good for everything, though. It's just creating a, a more unified field of energy. So it's creating coherence in, in systems. You know, which you know, which just helps anything so and everything work better. I'm assuming things like weight loss as well. It can can it help with something like that? Well, it gives the body the energy to handle digestion better, uh, but the energy to move more, <laughs> the energy to do more, the energy to be healthier, happier. I hear the antidepressant type effects. People are just happy. I was talking to one of my system owners last night, and she said. After our interview, and she's had an eight unit system for years, but she goes, I was just living in bliss. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just, I didn't care if I ate or not. I was just in bliss. <laughs> so we hear things like that. And, and it's, it's happy because it's our natural state. It is our natural state. Mm -hmm. I think people forget that where it's like, they, they think they feel good. And then they see the, the relative reality next to it after, let's say, sleeping in a unit like this. And that's what I felt when I first slept in the New Jersey system in Verona and that one a few months ago. I had five days, six days of just, I really felt like Superman, <laughs> brain-wise. No, yeah. really, it was yeah. like- there And was... we need you to be a superhero. Thank you. <laughs> that's All of us need to. That's why it's so important for kids too. The kids yeah. that use this become amazing. Let's go into that topic for a second without using certain words for obvious reasons, but I've seen multiple testimonials from people that have spoken to me themselves. I'm sure you have as well. I'm going to use the word children with certain learning disabilities, speech disabilities, things like that. I hope everybody understands what I'm trying to say here. Have you seen on a personal level 
positive impacts? And if so, how? What have you seen? Oh, gosh. You know, for children, it's thousands that we've thousands uh, from not being able to read to reading or being nonverbal to speaking. I think I told the story of the one little boy, and this is still one of my favorites. So he came and did what we call the Scalar Slumber Party, six years old, totally nonverbal. And uh, a week later, I called up and put him on the phone with me, and he sang his entire ABCs to me. Wow over the phone. I mean, it, I mean it, it's just those kinds of wonderful miracle stories. And, and I was sent one last night um, by somebody that went, where did they go? Um, oh, Jen Urban, Urban Retreat. Yeah, in Ohio. In Ohio. Yeah. And, and it was a, a, a young man in his early 20s mm -hmm. that was nonverbal, but he wrote to his, it, he wrote to his mother that this was, he felt it was bringing his brain back. Wow. Yeah. And, and it does work so much with enhancing brain function because it's creating this balance or zero point energy which synchronizes right and left brain hemispheres. So rather than the body staying stuck in a state of stress, being stressed out, <sighs> The body goes back to like a zero point reboot, re, recharge, reset. It goes back to a zero point where synchronizing right and left brain hemispheres and giving the energy for those neurosynapses, neural regeneration to occur in the brain. The synapses, everything's firing. And you know, it's it that's that state of happiness mm -hmm. or or you just feel good or re more relaxed so the body is trying to reset to because that it has the energy to respond to all the stressors appropriately yes. versus staying stuck in an inappropriate reaction pattern or you know and of course the reversal of of um, inflammation you know a lot of issues have come from inflammation in the brain right inflammation is what's behind any and all dysfunctions, diseases in the body. So it re, you, when you reduce that inflammation, mm -hmm. again, it's the body overreacting sometimes to stressors or toxins and versus being able to respond appropriately. And when the body has the charge, then it starts discharging everything that does not belong or does not support greatest life. Is that when... You mentioned multiple times it can get worse sometimes before it gets better. Yeah. Is that discharge, that experience of getting worse before it gets better? Yeah, it's called been called a Herxheimer reaction, although okay. our technology does does not put people into healing crisis. Let's get that real clear. It's much more elegant. It's giving the body the energy to reorganize and function at a higher state. However, it's in alignment with true best and highest. Mm -hmm. So that's an overriding principle of alignment with true best and highest. And it's releasing things in the way that the body can handle the most elegantly and the most efficiently. Now, for example, I had a question that was sent to me yesterday about Parkinson's, for example. And we've had lots of results with that over many decades, right? I mean, you know, our initial clinicals go back to 2000. And your study is showing this, by the way. And it talks about this, yeah. right? From 2001. So that's, <laughs> yeah, 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we've seen a lot. A lot of that is from toxicity. Most of it's been traced to particularly toxicity of pesticides, herbicides, and those exposures. So when the body is discharging what doesn't belong, if it's those toxins, you may have a retrace of those same symptoms. But that's why it's so important to do that detox bath, which is- Which we'll, we'll get into as well with the detoxes yeah, and- The sea salt bath. Yeah. And, and that'll help pull the toxins as the body's pushing the toxins out, it'll pull it out. And it's, it's such a lost principle, the importance of baths because nothing does what a bath does they're so good and <laughs> yeah it's so good i'd say you know rather than do dialysis send yourself to bath heaven first yeah yeah literally you know, back to the kidney function because this was anatomy physiology 101 is the skin is the largest organ of elimination but it's technically the third kidneys mm -hmm. so when you do the bath it it helps take the stress 
off of the kidneys and help support your kidney function. Gotcha. You know, it's it, the largest organ that can be discharging toxins. There, there's a point I, I must bring up right now before continuing on these questions as well as more so a reminder to everybody that's watching right now to clarify a few things. The externalization of power is not where we're moving into in this new world. Everything that you're hearing Dr. Michael speak to you about right now, and Dr. Michael will agree with this because we've had many conversations, you already can do yourself. The point is to get to a point where we can access those abilities within, which is why she's repeating over and over, and I also do my best to repeat over and over, this does not heal you. You heal you. Right. This helps balance the environment that you're sitting in so you can heal you quicker. That is it. And the reason why I bring that up is because I know that there have been some people in the past that are saying, we can do this all by ourselves. That's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. The way that we can look at technologies like the energy enhancement system is a stepping stone to our ultimate collective destiny. And that ultimate collective destiny is one where you don't need something to help you with whatever ailment or disease you're experiencing because those won't exist in the world anymore. Well, ideally, we'd be living in this environment. Exactly. It is the point. With, right now, naturally. Naturally. Yes. In nature, this is the energy we would naturally have in an ideal world, an mm -hmm. ideal planet. Uh, if it, the Which we're very is, far from. <laughs> the thing is, we're living in such a toxic soup now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the EMF, the ELF, the radiation, the microwaves, uh, all the ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, and the Everything. nano aluminum, and, and the poisons in the food, in the water, in the air. You know, there's so many toxins. And we're been being bombarded with it with technology that's detrimental or destructive, yep. destructuring to the body, mm -hmm. detrimental, absolutely, you know, unzips the DNA kind of thing. This is designed to put the DNA back to its original divine design, its original matrix, you know, put everything back. And that was the original research we did with NASA in the 90s was finding it was trying to repair all the genetic damage. It's a, I mean, it's the most important point when it comes to those, because again, it's like the world that we're moving into is no longer give your power away and you have to use this. It's, it's under bringing ourselves back to our own power. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to repeat that literally every single time I come on a video and I do, because so long as we keep giving our power away and externalizing that, we're going to continue living in the same world that we're living in right now to change that. We have to shift our perspective. Our awareness is ultimately, I mean, this reality is a projection reflection of that. You change the consciousness, you change the awareness. This is a stepping stone to do that. It brings you right there. So I just wanted to clear that up and clarify that because right. there is still some confusions over there as well. Yeah. I mean, it's still giving you the energy to change, Yes, to change your body and your mind and your <laughs> habits and your diet mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. like that, but giving you the energy to change. But I was told, requested, asked to do this project to create a technology to override all the detrimental and destructive technologies and override it with a higher power yes the power of love that's also really important i know we have some questions to answer here <laughs> but override it as opposed to destroy it they're two different things very very different two different things one thing you're trying to resist something you make that thing stronger override it just means well i'm just going to let that be there and we're going to do something that's a whole lot greater and that is literally a reflection of the new paradigm and this new earth. That we're Transmutation, yeah. transmutational, transform, change form, transformational energy. That's what we're here to do now. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the huge shift that we're in. It's beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to be a part of it with you. <laughs> I have a juicy question for you. I'm going to have to word it a little differently again mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. I hope everybody can catch my drift here, but there's been things going on over the past two and a half years, you know, forcing people to do some stuff and mm -hmm. a lot of interesting and unfortunate consequences that have came out of those actions. 
My question for you is, have you seen or experienced or observed, observed this technology in helping reverse or help so-called fix any of the negative consequences of certain actions that people have been forced to take over the past two and a half years? It certainly has made people more aware and more ready for this change because it was so, you know, <laughs> you know, just so devastating at so many levels for so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, we love miracles, absolute miracles. And that's what we live for. And that's what we've been seeing. And yes, specifically with, I mean, I do have doctors that are documenting and, and documenting a lot of those changes after damage from the different procedures that have been requested. We understand. <laughs> More so told, not requested. <laughs> Mandated okay. is not is another term. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it's very, very damaging. Um, and so this helps keep the body in its ideal state, give the energy. Let's try to put the DNA back to its original divine design because those were a, a gene manipulation. By the way, there's a lot of that type of manipulation going on right now, yes. which I think is why, again, Let's just be frank here. There's nothing that I've ever heard of, of at least on my side of the equation, TLS is publicly standing behind. There's no other reason I could imagine that they would really, it was more than ask. It was ask in the beginning. It was like, you got to go. Yeah. You know, so well, I know that I there's asked, a good I was reason. I told here. to do this too. <laughs> yeah. so. so there's, I mean, it still blows my mind. I look at this and I'm like, this, this whole thing is unbelievable of how it's unfolding, but for good reason, obviously. So yeah, so lots of improvements from yeah. that uh, because the blood wants to be free flowing in the body. And again, you want to override the detrimental effects with a higher power, which is the power of love. You can see this as infinite waves of love and aloha healing energy that we're sending around the world, you know, because this is the time of the great awakening. We're in a great shift of consciousness of the ages. The full, and we are here in the fulfillment of all the prayers, all the promises, all the prophecies of all who have gone before us. We've waited a long time for this time, but this was this was specifically designed for this time. I understand. We needed more now than ever, even though we've been doing the homework, doing the research, laying the foundations. Since I created this originally, the original first full system went in in 1996. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. People want to know, they think this is new. It's not new. You know, if you look at our clinicals, they go back to 2001. But uh, the actual original research was started in the late 90s with NASA. I want to talk to you about NASA <laughs> at the end of this interview, because there, there are controversies there, obviously, or, you know, with the organization, things like that. We'll, we'll get there, but if you don't mind, if I can ask you some questions of your thoughts about that. But before we get there, um, I got a message the other day, one of many, by the way, but this one was a beautiful message. It was from somebody I've never met before, a woman in her 80s mm -hmm. with a husband in his 70s. He had a stroke. I think back in July of this year, she emailed me. I'm actually going to be interviewing her because I want their to, them to share their testimony themselves. But uh -huh. from what I can remember, she pretty much told me had a stroke, couldn't really walk very well after the fact, was in a wheelchair, couldn't pick up his arms above his shoulders, and was always looking for words. He went in for five hours. I forgot which center he went into, but he went in for about five hours, was able to speak again find his words with almost little to no problems, raise his hands above his head, above his shoulders and start walking for the first time in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I want to speak about that for a second because that's huge. I mean- That's normal for us. How? For the miracles to not happen is what more of a surprise because we love miracles. <laughs> but, but yeah, the body knows how to function perfectly. We're just reminding it how. By giving it the energy to go back to how it really wants to be, which the body wants to heal and function perfectly. So what do you think is the difference between somebody that has an ailment, goes in, doesn't experience any benefit, and another person that goes and experiences something unbelievable in the same center? 
So let's take mm -hmm. out the error for misalignment. Oh, absolutely. We hear this sometimes that, oh, I didn't feel anything or nothing happened or or anything like that. If you look at the blood, if you look at the brain, if you do, you know, different uh, analysis medically or scans and different things, I mean, huge differences. But the brain can't cognate all the changes in the brain or the blood that, you know, or, or that's going on through the body. And one thing that's really important to realize is the body has its own priority list. You know, everybody's the, body is different. Everybody's different. It, it, in the infinite innate intelligence of the body, it has its own priorities of what it's going to do with the energy. And sometimes it may be reversing a cancer somewhere in some organ or something, and it didn't do what you thought should be fixed <laughs> or healed or whatever. You know, so was it was there no benefit? Absolutely, we know there's benefit mm. because we've looked at, you know, we've done the studies, and you know, the hematologist said 100 percent improvement in the blood of 100 percent of the people. Wow. And cellular absorption rates increased in 100% of the people. Cellular absorption rates. And for that particular test, she was doing studies with ALS and um, wow. motor neuron disease. And this was, they said, to get that improvement on that test, it's an FDA approved test that she was using. It said it had to be imploding the plaque over the receptors in the cells. And they had never, ever in the history of this test ever seen anything that improved the cellular absorption rates. Hmm. Yeah, but it's going through and it's like imploding the plaque. You know, wow. again, transformational energy, but that's, you know, people ask, well, what's the photonic fusion aspect? Well, that's part of that. What do you mean by photonic fusion? Yeah, you know, where we're colliding photons. Photons are your quantums of light. We're not just colliding them. It's, it's an implosion event. Okay. An implosion, you know, is a, like cold fusion. So this has to do also with now the alignment of an actual system. Yeah, the precision of the alignment. Is extremely important. Extremely. It's, it, these are custom installed and calibrated to within one hundredth of an inch tolerance. It makes a huge, huge, huge difference as far as creating that null zone effect. People think, oh, we can just put it in and aim it. No, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work that way. Because we're trying to overcome a distortion of fields, distorted fields, with a transformational, transmutational, zero point, true zero point energy that creates a null zone effect or a, a neutralization and nullification of detrimental and destructive energy patterns. Gotcha. In the body and in the environment and in the community, because it goes out that, tra that transmutational null zone effect goes out originally it was measured at 2.2 miles 360 degrees every direction wow. so we want healthy communities and a healthy planet this wasn't just about creating a med bed that somebody gets in and it's one person at a time and it doesn't do anything for the world or the planet <laughs> it's helping one person it's more self-serve this was it's like creating earth acupuncture a grid yeah working with the grids within the planet, around the planet, does that also with the body, like acupuncture, like you've got your ultimate ideal acupuncture treatment. Mm -hmm. But it's doing that with the planet, but also creating healthier environment for everybody. So it's a whole different concept. Of That's so amazing. Of what Looks like we're doing done. a good acupuncture job with Australia and Canada and the United States and Sweden, Europe, and Switzerland, and everywhere. And Unbelievable. India is coming on. Too. India is coming on. I'm going to announce Israel. that at the end over here with what it is that we're doing, because there's a very exciting announcement. There was a promise that I made a few months ago to all of you with the Unified Healing Network to use those funds in this network to fund a greater sort of mission over here, bringing this technology to places that can't necessarily afford it. So we are going to be donating uh, an amazing unit to a major big ashram in India. I'll give you guys the details at the end of this Q&A because it's, it's just super exciting and I want to give you the details so you know what to expect over there. 
I was going to ask you another question. I think we know the answer to this. It was going to be about infertility. But based on what we spoke about, I think we got the answer to that one as well. <laughs> really great for that. Really great for that. <laughs> really, really great. And especially in these times, you know, with what's going on. really want birthing centers. Yes. I would really like that to be a focus. You know, Conchetta from the Smithtown, New York location, soon to be opening one in Naples, uh, in Naples Florida. Naples, Florida. Her dream is to bring this into birthing centers. So Conchetta, if you're watching this, mm -hmm. let's talk about it and make something like that we happen. Quite a few awesome. people talking about it that are so amazing, you know, that are doulas or or birth coaches. And of course, I've been a birth coach myself. So so amazing. Yes, it's really really important. And people will ask, is it good for children? Is it good for pregnant? It's the best thing you could possibly do for or have for children they need all the help they can get <laughs> my my sister by the way i can't say this now because it's past the first trimester but my sister is thankfully pregnant i'm so excited and she <laughs> she sits in front of these units almost every single day at this point just to do her thing with the detoxes and all that so ashley if you're watching this congratulations we all love you <laughs> so we're going to move from the ailments to the detoxes just to really Again, there are so many ailments and diseases out there and things that are going on. I, I think everybody got the point over here, but it for can what, only help. It can only help. It I've can seen only help, can't hurt on animals as well, by the way. I've seen so much easier. Yeah, so much easier. <laughs> you, you, listen, we didn't put my sister's dog, little seven, eight pound toy poodle, even less than that. Cutest thing in the world. He had a four centimeter, it was like a lymphatic cyst in his neck. And that's big on a dog that's about seven pounds. We put him in a system for 30 hours, three nights in a row, it was gone. No salt bath, no change of diet. Think about that. <laughs> right. You know, so you could say placebo on the human being. You can't say placebo on the dog. He has no clue what mm -hmm. it is that's going on there, but maybe he does. <laughs> and we just don't know. So I've seen it work on, on animals in incredible ways, more than just her dog, by the way. I'm just giving you some examples. Uh, as you all know, the testimonial that came out with my aunt, 12 and a half centimeter cystic fibroid in a matter of hours disappeared came back, disappeared again. I guess that's the it whole- came back minimally. Much smaller. Much, much smaller. smaller. Yeah. But again, that's a symptom of, yeah. you know, as the body is pushing out what created it, you get to the deeper levels. I like to talk about how healing is kind of like peeling an onion. And some of the layers stink more yeah. than others. But it, it, but it is a process. Healing is a process in the body. And it's kind of like peeling an onion and getting to deeper, uh, deeper levels. But, and as the body is discharging, you may re-experience some of the symptoms. But the thing to remember for people is get right back in. You don't want to stop the process. You want to do the salt bath. Whatever the body is bringing up, as fast as it brings it up, that's how fast it'll clear it out. Yes. You don't want to stop the process. And it's important to do the salt bath and drink a lot of water and the lemon water. Let's go into that with the protocol for a second. I know there are like three main points with your lemon mm -hmm. water and the salt baths and diet. Can you because start you with the water? you don't want to reabsorb the yeah. toxins on their way out. Mm -hmm. You want to support the detox and go, oh, I can't go in there. It, it made this happen, that happen. No, that's the time to get right back in and give the body the energy to say aloha to it. <laughs> 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 you don't want to keep your disgenerative process. Yes. <laughs> you don't want to keep the toxins. You want to say aloha to them on their way out and let them go. <laughs> I mean, otherwise, if you keep doing more of what you've been doing, you get more of the same result. 100%. I mean, that's absolutely a principle. And so, you know, when the, the symptoms come up, that's the time that do make sure you do the salt bath and make sure you get right back in the system. Don't stop the process. You want to support the body every which way in detoxing, you know, and fear of your symptoms isn't going to help heal you. <laughs> Not at all. If anything, it's going to perpetuate that. So you spoke about lemon, your water. I've been doing that, by the way. How much water do you recommend to drink for somebody that's going through this process? Oh, clinical hydration which a lot of dis-ease anyway comes from the acute chronic dehydration in okay. the body okay. and the colon backed up. So people are literally full of it. Literally. <laughs> because, and that a lot of that is from dehydration and that reabsorbing, it's called auto-intoxication, but that reabsorption of the toxins because the colon's not moving. So clinical hydration is technically approximately a gallon of water a day. Wow. 
And so people need to be aware of that. And when you say water, what water? <laughs> Well, you want a good, clean water. Well, there, there are people water. that are telling us New York City tap water is clean. I don't oh, know so about bad. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, without chlorine, without fluoride. Gotcha. <laughs> Those are both neurotoxins. And then you've got, you've got such an issue with the water. They're finding, you know, the chemo drugs are in the water. People's birth control pills are in the water. Uh, antidepressant, all, all these you know, pharmaceuticals up, yeah. are in the water. And that's creating a lot of the issues because they're, most of them are um, gender bender chemicals, we'll call them. <laughs> I, understand. I understand. Yeah, so really messing with men's testosterone levels and creating a lot of this gender confusion that we're seeing as well, because you've got so much gender bender chemicals in our environment. Gotcha. Okay, so lemon your water, I want to speak about the salt bath in a second. Diet. We spoke about this. Can you touch up on it? Like simplistically, when you say diet, again, a lot of people, there are a million out there. Yeah. Of like, you should do this. You should do this. What do you see specifically that is best in tandem with this technology? We're not talking about overall diets right now. People are going to get butt hurt and upset about what's going on. So <laughs> right. let's, just, let's just speak about in tandem with this in my 45 technology. years of, <laughs> of teaching yeah. holistic health we'll talk about that Fair and enough. biological adaptations of the body but but specifically with working with this drink more water more water more water uh green tea thousands of benefits from green tea thousands of studies on the benefits of green tea you know, so green tea is another thing I specifically recommend putting the lemon juice of half a lemon in water first thing in the morning I have developed something I call the magic formula. Okay. And you can give that formula. It's it, it's out there. It's available, but my magic formula. There are going to be a few formulas and regimens okay. that I need to get from you to put on the website as well to share with everybody. And it's with lemon, with the peel of the lemon and mm -hmm. ginger and aloe and, and green tea. And, and so it's a mixture of things that um, really is highly effective at working with this technology. Would you, and we've touched up on this in the past, but I want to do it again. Would you stay away from things like meat while doing any stay, sort of- I highly recommend people stay away from the McDonald's and you know the, your fast food stuff because all of those are full of neurotoxins gotcha. and all kinds of different things that will not create health. And if you have, let's say, super organic, you know, you know where it came from and all that, would you recommend continuing to eat that during this specific uh, 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 yeah. detox or whatever it may be? Ideally, to work most beneficially with the technology, you're going to focus on fresh, live, raw. Fresh, live, raw, meaning fruits and vegetables. Fruits and veggies, yeah. Would absolutely. you put an emphasis on fruits or vegetables or both? Um, well, on the fruit side, you want to focus more on the lemons, the grapefruits, the limes, um, you know, things like, like that. Not so much on the sweet fruits, but also on the, the berries. Okay. And nuts are really good, actually, raw, raw. And you can soak them to make Not them roasted even. with salt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> very different. <laughs> raw, raw nuts, again, very, very um, beneficial. They have the right fats. Avocado is a perfect food for helping balance the blood sugar and balance everything. Avocado is a perfect blend of, of the right fats and protein and fiber for the body. Got gotcha. you. So those are the things to focus on, fresh, live, and raw greens, you know. Understood. Lots of greens. So really increasing that. And, and wherever you're at, you, can, you know you can be better. There's always room to be more better somewhere, you know. So you want to make the improvements. Give your, rather than eating the stuff from the back of the bus or the back of the plane, you want to give yourself the frequent flyer upgrade, go first class make healthier, more intelligent, more informed choices for yourself. Anything and everything you do is either supporting you in health, wellness, vitality, pleasure, love, or not. I vote for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Making healthier, more intelligent, more informed choices. <laughs> now, with, with the salt baths, mm -hmm. I do want to just say something for the record. There are certain parts of what Dr. Michael is going to say that 
she cannot say on this video right now in regards to current recommendations current recommendations with beyond the salt with benefit. what we're dealing with endemically in our environment yes at the present moment so whatever cannot be shared on this video right here there will be a sheet that we're putting together that's going to be the equivalent of a regimen recommendation protocol whatever you want to call it i like calling it a recommendation when it comes to what to do in that bath and certain things that you can include in that bath. That's all going to be on unifiedhealing.com. And we're actually going to send that out on the next newsletter. It's all free. None of this costs money. It is going to be available for the entire world to be able to download that piece of paper with instructions and recommendations and share it with whoever you want. So, And this is important because no matter what, even if they're just using the medallions yeah. or the bracelets, even these, we've had people say they've had... Uh, you know, detox effects yep. and the, oh, it's too powerful. I can't wear it. But no, you want to, anybody and everybody, no matter where they are, can afford to do these detox baths, you know, and simple, it's salt. You know, it could be kosher salt, sea salt, real salt, but salt, two cups salt in the tub and two cups baking soda. That's your basic bath recipe. Yep. And the salt minimally is a pound of salt. We emphasize basic. There's other things. Yeah. So the <laughs> salt is the minimum basic, and that'll work. But two cups salt, two cups baking soda is the specific bath for radiation. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're really dealing with across the board. Fukushima alone was an extinction level event because of the massive amounts of radiation that was released. For example, I just flew. Right. And you just flew in too. I just landed last night. We were both on planes yesterday. And so, you know, you know, the there's 10 times greater radiation exposure on planes now than pre-Fukushima because the plutonium oh, and wow. cesium hang at 30,000 feet. I had no idea. So what we're dealing with is radiation poisoning, acute radiation poisoning. And a lot of the symptoms of everything we've been seeing is from acute radiation poisoning, people losing their hair, for example. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the technology is great for hair. <laughs> I need to start sleeping in it more often. Uh, but that is an example. And skin issues and even um, the thyroid issues and so many different things are from radiation poisoning. So this is designed to create radiant, hyper-healthy energy. Gotcha. It's a different kind of radiation to create radiant health and a mutation, transmutation of those issues. You know, I, I, I've talked about before, my mother was fissioning plutonium in the labs, working on the bomb the whole time she was pregnant with me. So I know and understand radiation literally from the inside out. Literally. And, and this is designed to reverse all the issues of radiation. Because, and then the real principle, it's pure science, but this is your quantum and biophysics, is as we radiate light, because we're activating the light at the core of the DNA. Okay. Which is pure science. That's the stuff from the stars. We are stardust. You could call it your star seed, but that's the light of your soul, literally, because that, that's your God code in your DNA. That's so cool. And when you activate that light, as we radiate light, nothing that is not of that light can affect us because we are bodies of light, beings of light. Prime function of DNA is a storage of photons, this quantums of light. When Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the light, you're going to breathe that light, mm. all God's love, all God's light through every cell and every part of you. It's amazing. Letting every cell know and remember the power of the truth, of the love, of our being here. Thank you for sharing that. Now. <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> Breathe it in. <laughs> Real quick. That's only really a breath away. <laughs> That's the importance of aloha, means oneness with that breath of the love of all life within us. You mentioned the importance of detoxing every time after coming in contact with something like this, doing things like this with the technology. Right now, we're bringing this technology to many states, many countries all around the world very, very quickly. There are certain places where this technology can be in somebody's apartment, um, in somebody's office building, whatever it is, and there may be other offices next to that in the same building. 
can it do any harm to individuals or how can it impact individuals that may be in the same building in that field but aren't aware of it and are not detoxing every time afterwards. Right. Well, the hyper healthy energy is in the room. The photons do not go through the walls and the DNA is biophotonic. Gotcha. The scalar effects, however, it creates a null zone. So it just creates a healthier energetic environment. But correct? the real impact is within the confines of the screens. And, and that's where you have more of the charge. Okay. So yeah. within those confines, detox every time afterwards. Right. You want to detox every time or once you've been using a while, minimum people go, you know, how many baths do I need to do? Do I need to do baths the rest of my life? Well, send yourself to bath heaven occasionally. First you know? of all, you should <laughs> definitely do baths. You I can't did, be too clean. I took a bath every day growing up and everybody, everybody in my family, when I was like 12 and 13, they're like, why do you take a shower for an hour? I'm like, I'm not showering. I take my bath. It was the best time of my life. Well, there's lots of reasons why. Nothing does what a bath does. Nothing does what a bath does and this is an old thing from the mystery schools <laughs> you know it, it was one of those secrets of how important and powerful those detox baths can be mm -hmm. but also with the showering i you know we hypercharge a shower filter and that's one of the simplest most cost effective things that you can also do to support oh, that's so health. cool you can hypercharge uh-huh one and it has tourmaline and it has all these different you know that's like you know, 12, 15 stages, I forget, but it's hypercharged and it's a shower filter. I think it's $88 for, for a filter with, uh, with an extra filter. So gotcha. two filters and, a, but the importance of that is if you're, if you don't filter that water, you can absorb as much chlorine from drinking eight glasses of water in one hot shower. But even worse is breathing in all that chlorine, chlorine gas. 100% really really bad for the respiratory bronchioles that's every time you take a shower it's a gas chamber yes. literally yeah and so that's why part of the difference of how, why it's so much better and if you put the salt in the water then the body it'll pull toxins like a magnet you know you don't have to worry about the, the stuff that's in there it creates like a homeopathic and will pull toxins out mm even if the water has the chlorine and the fluoride and all those chemicals, you know, put at least two cups of salt in that bathtub and it'll help pull the toxins out. Is this okay to use if let's say you have a transplant or an implant or <laughs> breast implants, hip transplant, you know, heart, whatever those things are called. Stents and yeah. pacemakers. And great for everything. It just helps anything and everything work better. Okay. creates more biocompatibility even if there are foreign objects in the body uh-huh it's cuz yeah, because my... it's going to support the whole okay as far as creating more coherence in your body and being and mitigating toxicity of, you know for example if people are having um, metal toxicity from whatever metals been put into their body but organ transplants we've seen phenomenal benefits for people with organ transplants Really? Even when the body, they were in absolute crisis where the body was rejecting the organ. Did it help the rejection? It created the communication and coherence compatibility. Oh, with wow. The, with the organ. We've also had, uh, we've had organs that were atrophied turned back on. I mean, all kinds of things. That's <laughs> you so know, amazing. Brains where there was no brain on one side, they have brain function. I mean, the test thing has been radical crazy miracles <laughs> that's amazing stuff can only help cannot hurt it's beneficial for anything and everything you know when when we hear that it's funny because a lot of people when they hear that we're so used to the side effects mm -hmm. the side effects and this is just I'm, I'm stating my opinion right here we live in a world where we're used to that because we live in a world that operates according to something called reductionism Reductionism means taking the whole, breaking it up into parts, and then forgetting that it was a whole. The world that we're moving into is a holistic world, holism, holistic medicine in a way. I never understood why they don't have the W in holistic medicine because that's really what it's doing. So it's like we well, got to. I like the holistic with an H how because come? the body is sacred and it's remembering oh, like holy. holiness. 
and the sacredness of sure. who we are like and it. all that we are I like all it. that we're here for <laughs> that's a, sacred definitely space. another perspective but mm-hmm. yeah it's we're moving into this world of when you do something, it doesn't have to be at the expense of something else. I know that that's what we've been programmed to think because, you know, the pills that our insurance pays for today says, take this, but you might bleed out of your nose, die tomorrow. And I don't even know what they say really side fast of, <laughs> at the end of the commercials. Heart attack, stroke and death, but ask your doctor for it because it may be right for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want to bring that up because when people hear that, it's like, wait, is that too good to be true? No, this is just the world that we're moving into. But of course, there are questions that need to be answered. And one question that I forgot to ask you is, can too many salt baths dry up your skin? Not really, although I do recommend coconut oil on the skin. Okay. That's, that's one of those super healthy things for the body. Gotcha. I also recommend um, magnesium oil rather than doing Epsom salt baths so much. Use magnesium oil, which isn't an oil, but the number one missing mineral that people have is magnesium. And so that can be absorbed well, you know, so you can get a magnesium lotion or, or something like that, magnesium oil and coconut oil. Gotcha. You know. Very cool. Okay. One of the, this was actually one of the main questions, and I don't know how to answer this directly. Obviously, I can't to the best of my ability, but we got to ask the doctor here. So, Okay. There are a lot of people traveling to a lot of places around the world right now. One of them is Sweden, the the center that opened in Sweden. There are people coming from literally all over Europe because that was the first one in Europe up until recently. And now, of course, we're opening all around Europe and it's moving quick. But a lot of people are asking, okay, I want to come in for how many nights should I come in for? This is what I'm experiencing. I have X, I have Y, I have Z. How many nights do I come in for? What do I do? And, you know, in my perspective it's not black and white but how can you answer that in a way that can give some sort of base to move from with with you know what i mean right a base a foundation some base some foundation yeah yeah because you can never have too much healthy energy that's Mm -hmm. one of the questions what if i get too much or this no you can never have too much healthy energy you can't look too good feel too good be too healthy be too happy Mm -hmm. You know, you can never have too much good energy. So let's eliminate that thought. Now, what I recommend with the technology, I mean, first question I asked, how healthy do you want to get? How fast? (laughs) Do you want to just mitigate some symptoms or do you want to get super healthy? Because if you get super healthy, there's no more dis-ease. Gotcha. So it's cumulative. And I recommend a minimum of two hours even though our clinicals were mostly done with one hour. Really? Oh, your clinicals are based on one hour time periods? Primarily. And if, if <laughs> in short, can you give us some of the things that the clinicals have shown? Of- oh gosh, anything and everything, you know. Yeah. But I recommend a minimum of two hours because it takes that for the, to it was well, taken a while to get where you got in the first place, <laughs> but it takes that to get to the deeper delta and theta brain states, which is where you want to go. You want to go as deep as you can because it's only in delta and theta states that the body actually repairs and regenerates and heals. And that's like re- rebooting a computer. You want to reset, reboot your whole body to go from you know, sympathetic to parasympathetic. Um, In in other words, from being stressed out back to, um, you know, from that fear reaction pattern where the body's reacting to everything and Mm. stressed out with all the stressors. You want to go back to that zero point null zone effect where your body has the energy to handle all the stressors appropriately. You know, and so it takes a bit to reboot and reset everything like defragging a computer, (laughs) creating more coherence. So if somebody's coming, again, let's say from a different country, generally those people would be flying into sleep there. Would you say one night? Would you say two nights? Would you say it depends how severe your situation is, the longer the better? What sort of base can you say? Can you Ideally, you have it in... Ideally, you have it in your home around your bed. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, ideally, <laughs> but not everybody can afford that. Right. Yeah. But going in, it's like, I mean, you know, you can't expect everything to heal 
instantly you you want to give the body time to make the adjustments to make the shifts and each time you go in it's cumulative and the body reorganizes to a higher level of function mm. so i wouldn't recommend just going and sleeping in it one night do at least two or three if they're flying in and and make sure they do the salt baths and drink the water and and um you know try to improve their diet whatever their diet is make healthier choices with that focus more on plant-based green etc and probably do lemon water some and, sort of testing before and testing after to see impacts you could you, not necessary you know it's working whether you test it or not got you i mean but people will be doing i mean and we have doctors working with that and we have the clinicals and things too but um you know first thing people notice is they sleep better because first symptom of radiation exposures, first symptom of electrosmog or electropollution is we're being bombarded 24 seven with the EMF, ELF radiation. So people don't get to the deeper delta and theta brain states. They never get to deep sleep. I've had two interesting experiences, which were they on the surface, they were opposite, but they brought me to the same place. There was one, well, I slept in it multiple times, but there was once where I slept in a 32 unit system at my friend's place in Florida mm -hmm. and I knocked out, I woke up, oh my God. The second time I slept there, I was sleeping deep, but I was awake the whole time. But when <laughs> I woke up, it was like I was in the deep, deepest sleep after. It was so weird. Like, <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> like, like I was aware of everything that was going on while I was sleeping, but it was still the deepest sleep I've been in. We have people say that, uh, I, I've heard that many, many times. Uh, a husband will tell the wife, I was awake the whole time. She goes, you were snoring the entire time. <laughs> but he goes, but I was totally aware of everybody and everything in the room and everything else. And <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's amazing how that works. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. The sleep disturbance is first symptom of, of radiation poisoning or that kind of thing. So sleep improvements generally the first thing because that's where the body needs to go to sleep. To, it, it's to That's sleep. Where it's it's going to heal. Yeah. To, to heal anything, you got to go. You got to get good sleep because that's also where the toxins in the brain can discharge and mm. things like that. So it's really, really important. And that's what you're going to do in the system is sleep. Gotcha. So that's your best bet, really. Go yeah, sleep as, there, do what you can. As long as the eyes are open, because people want to be on their cell phone or on, or reading a book or talking to somebody, you'll have benefits. But as long as the eyes are open, 80% of the body's energy is being externalized, you know, to the environment. And you want to close your eyes and go to the deep, ideal, optimal meditational states first, because the research is you can go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in the first seven minutes. So we want to say all your prayers, breathe God's love to every cell, love yourself. That's unconditional love. <laughs> You know, have any part of your body needing more energy, breathe, <laughs> breathe God's love, breathe the light, breathe the energy mm -hmm. to every cell, give it all permission to function more perfectly. And then, you know, and then go to those deeper ideal sleep states that lucid dreaming is, is part of that. And that's a symptom of the HGH or human growth hormone being released and the melatonin being released. Very cool. So you see, you know, people go, well, that's another question. How do you sleep with those lights on? Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, it doesn't bother you like you may, like you think. We get that question a lot. Can I turn off the lights if I have it in my bedroom? Or <laughs> now, if it does bother anybody because they're super sensitive for whatever yeah. reason, if they put some sort of sheet over it, almost like your clothes. No, you wouldn't want to do that. You don't want to do that. No. So now I have the opposite question for you. When we're wearing clothes, <laughs> is it better to have your skin exposed to the light or is it okay to wear clothes well all of our clinicals were done with people with their clothes on <laughs> <laughs> now what you do in your bedroom is a different story gotcha. <laughs> i mean there's a reason why 90 percent of systems were in private homes around the bed <laughs> you know uh, ideal function i understand <laughs> ideal I understand. sleep ideal functions like sleeping in heaven but circulation the hormones so you're better off definitely not covering with any form of sheet they won't go through the right way. Well, it, you know, like I said, all of our clinicals and all these miracles that you're hearing about, people have their With clothes, clothes on. on. So it works either way. Okay. <laughs> but perhaps more skin exposure is good. I don't know. 
But, but there's no like but direct you definitely study. Definitely don't it. want to turn the lights off on the technology because gotcha. then you'd be losing a lot of the benefits. Because it, it does stay on 24-7, just so mm -hmm. everybody's aware. And by the way, for anybody that's asking about like electricity and all that, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's about 75 watts per screen. It's like a light bulb per, per unit. Screen, per per unit. unit, not just per screen, but per unit. It's about oh, 75 yes. watts. Because there's an actual computer that that screen is connected to that's conveying everything. Mm -hmm. So per unit, okay. I'll use that terminology moving forward. <laughs> Alrighty, I have a few logistical questions for you that a lot of people sent in as well. And we can slowly start bringing this to an exciting close. Um, there's a there's a cube, and then there's an actual like system in four corners of the room. Mm -hmm. There's some people that are calling a double cube like this, which has eight screens, an eight unit system. What's the difference between the two? Okay. I want to make that really apparent. And is a cube? What's the difference, pretty much, between a cube and a system and in a that way, system. The, the configured system. Yeah, the cube is the baby system that we've developed later. It's four units internally, but they're smaller units. And you're not colliding the photons off the screens in the same way. You can't get in the middle of it easily. <laughs> <laughs> you can put your picture in the middle, but that's... <laughs> but, you, you, you know, it's different. They're smaller units. We say it's about one third the power of a four unit, an actual four unit, say typically around the bed or or four corners of a room be four units. That's, you know, the by comparison, the cube is one third the power, mostly because the units are so much smaller. One third the power of a four unit of a, system. Of a full four unit system. Configured in the corners of a room. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. It's yeah. that big of a difference because yeah. of the collision, you're saying. Right. And, okay. and bigger and bigger. These are field engine generators. So you think about it as an engine for generating fields. Yeah, the four units that are precisely aligned within a cube. The cubes are much handier because you can. It's easy. Yeah, they we ship them. It's it's uh, you could build them. About it. It's a fairly easy assembly. You did it yourself. Yeah, I did it myself. <laughs> it took me less than an hour. It wasn't hard. Less than an hour. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. We have people going, oh, I thought it was going to arrive assembled. No, some assembly is required, but it's easier than something you buy from <laughs> one of those kits. <laughs> no, it's super simple. It's just a few pieces put together. It's no big deal. Yeah, pretty simple. There's four units, and it'll sit on a coffee table, an end table, uh, you know, Put of your bed, wherever mm -hmm. you, it, it just sits, and you can move those around. Some people put them on caster wheels, and I have like a double cube. This is two cubes, and that's technically an eight unit system, but it's going to be one third the power of a of full eight, eight unit, unit system. system. And going from a four to an eight, it's eight's about 10 times better in terms of more power. Uh huh. As far as its density of the field. So that, that was going to be that was going to be my next question. I see. Number one, let's talk about some of your, your studies that are on your website. And by the way, I'm going to be sharing a link in the description below after this live as well to those studies so you guys can see them and, and read them and check them out because there are tons of them. But mm -hmm. I've seen many of those have been done with eight unit systems, legitimate eight unit mm -hmm. systems with right. the photon collision, seeing incredible benefits. Mm -hmm. The main question that I have over here is what's the real difference between an eight, a 12, a 16, a 24? There's some people going to 40 right now. I've slept in a 32 <laughs> and seen 48s pop up. I mean, huge, huge yeah. expansions that are being done. What would be the difference between, let's say an eight, a 12 and a 16 and a 24? Would you say that it's better or worse or just different? And for one, an eight can be good that a 24 may yeah. give them a headache or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, we don't typically experience headaches in the 24. Okay. But the only way people, and this is good to remember, if somebody gets a headache, you know, we recommend that people hydrate efficiently before coming into the technology and drink a lot of water while they're in it or as soon as they're out of it. Um, water is really, really important. And if somebody gets a headache while they're in this technology, basically you drink a full glass of water and as quick as it brought it up, it's how fast it clears it out generally. Yeah, I think that's but it's why always done with my a cup. symptom of the colon yeah. being backed up. <laughs> so that's that's kind of an important thing. Um, you know, eight's about 10 times better than a four, and it goes up. 12 is 
even better. 16 is phenomenal. You know, the, the general where I show the, the change, that was in a 12 unit. Okay. You so know, you've seen incredible stuff happen in 12s oh, the, and 8s. Yeah, and... That was the general after three strokes, total paralysis, both sides. Gotcha. And 10 days later, after four hours each day, he's he's standing, he's lucid, he's, you know, I mean, <laughs> back to life, literally brought him back to life. After, he was sent to hospice with three strokes and, you know, total paralysis, both sides, no bowel control, no bladder control, everything was regained. And is it, it, is it yeah. true that the more... And that was a 12 unit. System. That was a 12 unit. 16 is what we have. Um, speaking of another stroke, it was 16 that um, Dr. Dream... Um, <laughs> Mark Peebler is his name, but Dr. Dream, he had had a double stroke and could not stand up without falling down and walked totally unassisted after two hours in a 16 unit. And he'll tell you that. And of course, he put a, uh, he put a cube in his 40 foot RV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, 16 is great. 24 is an optimal configuration in that it works with the it works with the geometry of the DNA more efficiently. What would you say about fours are like another world? What about 32s, 48s, things like that? It gets better. There's different configurations, reasons. Um, one of our doctors is putting in a 64 unit. Wow. In clear water. He has his reasons why it should be a 64. I'm not going to argue with them because he has. He's 18 times world champion in weapons. So I'm not going to argue with him. <laughs> <laughs> he's 26 times world champion in karate. Wow. <laughs> Dr. Alf, he's amazing. He's doing a 64 unit. Oh my God. And he God. has his reasons for that. <laughs> okay. So um, we've had people have 40 units in their home for years. No, you can't have too much. Uh, but that doctor had 24 units in one room eight around a bed, eight around his office, 40 units in his home. And he goes, why would anybody do less than 24 units? Because the difference is so astounding. And yeah, he said, there isn't anybody that's not better. Wow. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Is it true? This is what I've heard. We actually have to speak about this, but I forgot to ask you. Are there different, like, for example, take th those screens on the bottom and those screens on top. I'm assuming there's a different code input into each. A little different setting. And does each code or setting or whatever it is cover a different type of we something? Have, How does that work? We have settings like for maximum benefit, for maximum amount of people. And that's what we use in the centers. So is it fair to say that in, in a system that has more units, you can input a higher differentiation yes. of codes, call it? Right. Uh, for example, a lot of people are doing four, the four corners of the room kind of thing, four towers of six. Okay. And that's a beautiful installation versus doing 24 units in a circle like they did in Abu Dhabi, where they built the building and the room. They literally <laughs> built a room in a building for this. Yeah. <laughs> with a chair right in the center. It's unbelievable. Beautiful. But it's much easier and more elegant for most people with <laughs> the, the space that we have to utilize to do uh, these four towers of six. For example, that's what uh, uh, they have in, in um, New Jersey. With, yes. With Jeffrey. Yes. Yeah, so four towers of six and they're rack mounts. So everything is locked, locked and loaded. Gotcha, and, you know, as far as into that tower. And so those are very efficient, but on each level, you've got a little bit different setting. For example, the setting on the bottom of this would be one of those layers. I understand. Now we don't generally use the setting on the top, but this, um, but this is in a private bedroom and it was, they wanted a little additional support for sleep, for deeper sleep. So that, that was input for that intention, uh -huh. for that reason. Right. Okay. I have one, one big picture question. A lot of people were asking this one as well. I think I know the answer based on what you said already, but we got to ask it. Is it okay to use other technologies in tandem with this technology in the same room, whether it's hyperbaric chambers, Healy devices, resonant light machines, things like that, or can different technologies impact things negatively? 
No, there's no negative impact from other things. In fact, this is designed to make any and every other technology work better. Any and every so it's like other healing modality is going to create greater coherence, greater communication through the body, mm -hmm. make any and every healing modality, whether it's you know charging of supplements and herbs so that you're bringing the charge into the body, you know, like we've done for clarity, you know, company clarity, C-L-A-R-8. With the eight, yes. The eight stands for the scalar enhancement. Fabulous, phenomenal formulas. I highly recommend those. Okay. And that works with the charge through the cells in the body. So, but um, anything you bring into the technology will have one level of scalar enhancement. I understand. You know, whether it's your crystals or your supplements or your water, you know, is 28% reduction of surface tension of water in the technology. So that makes it more hydrating. It can, it can I guess, go deeper into your cells mm -hmm. in that way. 28% increase in the electrical conductivity. So cool. Of DNA. And that was research by Dr. Glenn Ryan with the medallions of lab research with the DNA. It's Stanford, Harvard biophysicist. Amazing. 28%. But he also found 28% increase in electrical conductivity of water. Things like that. So what goes way beyond Emoto's work. It's very similar, but I love his work. Like by the way. His, yeah. But it's like his work taken to a quantum. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you who don't know uh, Dr. Masaru Emoto, he pretty much did studies on water showing how our thoughts, beliefs, words, intentions, things like that interact with water and literally change its molecular structure and formation to those of symmetrical formations or incoherent, distorted formations if you want to call it that and that really impacts us because we're 70 yeah. percent water structuring so. water yeah yeah and, and the benefits of that brilliant great work unbelievable I, but surface now compared to what we've done since mm -hmm. very much so and you can restructure water just using the medallion I mean, how well for example just using a bracelet hold that to the glass. Okay. You can feel when it gets heavier because hydrogen is a heavier atom and it's affecting the hydrogen atoms. Are there any studies showing this? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I'm going to share that studies link with all of you. So you guys can check that out as well. That's so cool. So this, these the bracelets are very handy. I do want to mention, I talked about anything you bring into the technology will have a level, level of scalar enhancement. However, we take it another quantum with the hypercharging that we do with the medallions and bracelets. So they're a lot more effective. I mean, a lot more efficient and effective in the body. Uh, the medallions create a stronger field, like a five foot cocoon. We talk about 2.2 miles, or I was corrected on that recently by, um, by somebody that said he's done the algorithms and, <laughs> and it's doing each system's doing at least 320 some miles. <laughs> oh, wow. Much bigger. Uh, <laughs> Did you confirm that or that's just uh, something this, you were told? He's a top spook scientist. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how to, how else to confirm it. <laughs> okay, okay. They, they said they've done their research and this is what they're finding. Very interesting. Uh, so, okay, he's, trying to, he's correcting me. Um, but I do want to say, yes, yeah, so the medallions do like a five foot cocoon, the bracelets, the blood runs through it. So we recommend both. Uh, very, very, these are very handy, obviously. You just, I got mine you know, with the, with my pyramid on it. Yeah. The pyramid code. There know, we go. I got, got it right there. Pyramid code. Then we got yeah. my bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't ever have too much. They work. And, you know, we've seen absolute crazy miracles. I think I've talked before about how the miracles were literally reported to the Vatican because, you know, when uh, Father had had seen nine crazy miracles with the medallions before he ever met me. Really? <laughs> and yeah. And so all kinds of miracles with the medallions alone. And they're very, very cost effective. You know, people go, oh, your technology is so expensive. These are very cost effective. And again, the, the the point, by the way, of part of my task was make this as accessible and affordable as possible was let's move this away from predominantly in the private domain and private homes and bring this into the public domain. So those who have the means to open up centers can do it, mm -hmm. not just to serve themselves, but to serve others. And then, of course, we have that cap with unified healing centers of unless it's an exception zone, like in New York City and things like that. 
not to charge over $60 per hour per person to keep it accessible and affordable. So nobody takes advantage of anybody and we're all set. And, and I mean, really keeping each other accountable, you know? So yeah. the idea was to bring this from that private into the public as much as possible to make this as accessible as possible in the most realistic way. You know, we can't expect everything to be free because we got to support each other if we want to make things happen. But if we do come together, we can make things affordable. And I on, mean, on you know, that vein, one of the, th one of the people that's utilizing our technology and was insistent to meet with me said he was a former, um, former uh, full bird colonel at Area 51. Wow. Yeah, very interesting. He goes, I've seen the $3 million med beds. Those of you still waiting for the med bed and think our technology, a 12 unit system installed, including shipping and installations, 125,000. That's a Not 20, a 12 or 24. That's a 24 unit, 125,000. He goes, I've seen the $3 million med beds. Mm -hmm. And he goes, your technology is far superior. Wow. <laughs> That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know that there are other technologies out there that we don't have access to that are, you know, behind closed doors. I know that also with my conversations. I haven't seen them myself, but I know that with my conversations right. with Ray, for, for, for example, this, the this disclosure secret space things. program stuff, et cetera. Yes, there yeah. are technologies. Yeah. The idea here is we have to make this as affordable as possible, and we can do that when enough of us come together. There's a reason why we have almost 60 centers right now that are open all around the world in four months on the Unified Healing Network. And it's because that's what unification does. It, it makes what we once thought is too good to be true in absolute reality very, very quickly. And it's it, it yeah. shows that to and us. People you know? listen, there's a video of John Orba who was head of, tech, head of science for the Pentagon at one point. Mm -hmm. And he comes in and he's, you know, brings in a hundred thousand dollars specialized oscilloscope, and he's describing what he sees, what what it means, and all that. And people can watch that video on YouTube. But he he came in and go, "How in the world did you get it to do what it's doing as cheap? Yeah, and as small. Everybody else is going. Can you make it smaller? Can you make it cheaper? Well, we did. We put it into medallions and bracelets." and hypercharged water filters. We're gonna find a way to make it even better over time. <laughs> well, we do have plans for that. <laughs> a, that's also part of my task, by the way, just so you know, to figure out, that, yeah, encourage there, that, there are, whatever that means. I'm yeah. sure you have amazing plans, especially with your kids <laughs> yeah. that are running everything and making it happen. This is uh, this has gone global in a, in a very, very short period of time for very good reason. Satellites are one of the big plans. Putting them on satellites. Yeah. We're going to have to talk about that. Well, advanced radiation remediation for cleaning up the oceans for Fukushima. That's some of the bigger projects. Okay. I got I to ask you a question at this point. And if you don't want to answer, that's no problem. <laughs> You've said three things that I know triggered people. Vatican, <laughs> NASA, Pentagon. <laughs> what's, what's going on? What do you... And be careful with what you say for obvious reasons. Wonderful and brilliant people and genius people everywhere that are looking with what we know, how do we heal the world? I'm going to repeat what she just said because it's very important. There are good, I'm going to paraphrase it. There are very good and genius, amazing people that are looking to heal the world in the best way that they know how everywhere. That means that just because there is an overarching agency or organization or whatever it may be that may be compromised at the highest levels, it does not mean that there are individuals that are a part of that organization that are not a part of the individuals that have been compromised. And I say that, by the way, mm -hmm. because I could tell you for sure, and I know this for sure, there are certain individuals just on behalf of TLS from the light system organization that work within NASA. NASA doesn't know that they're working right. for TLS. There are individuals within the Pentagon that work for TLS. Pentagon doesn't know who they're a part of. My point is, is just because they're individuals that are associated with something does not mean they are absolutely a part of that something. And I think that this is a perfect example. Very, of that. very, very important. It's from within we conquer. It's from within we conquer. I like that. Working with <laughs> the like best that. out of the worst. <laughs> I like that a lot. Because the worst to do take the best, just so we know that. The worst take the best to do what they're trying to do. But I've had some of the top secrets scientists come to me and go wait a minute you know how do i clear my karma i've been responsible for 
X, Y, and Z? <sighs> How do we, you know, and, and the answer is always knowing what you know. Now, what can you do to heal the world? Huh. It all comes back to that spiritual truth. That's what really everything ends up coming back to. I don't care what's going on. At the end of the day, it all stems back to where it all came out of. And that's that spirit world and those laws that we've forgotten, but are yeah. thankfully starting to and remember because of people like how this technology works is the cells vibrate and resonate with the power of truth. And it's the truth that sets us free. And what we've had is a giant deception, yeah. the great deceiver, a giant deception, all based on fraud and lies. Understood. And it, it's... We're in deep shift. The great awakening cannot, will not be We're stopped. in deep shift. <laughs> shift has hit the fan. Accelerated <laughs> evolution. I was asked to create technology to create quantum leaps of consciousness. And Hello. that's what it's for. How do we create that quantum leap of consciousness? You know, to have heaven on earth. Because this is meant to be a beautiful paradise planet. Heaven on earth. 100%. And Thank we have you. technology to do that. How to create technology to counter all the abuse of Tesla's work. All the abuse, all the destructive detrimental technologies, of bombs, et cetera. Like I said, my mother worked on a bomb. My dad worked on stealth bombers. And I'm going, how do we heal all this? And so taking technology to create the counterpoint to override it all with a higher power, the power of love frequency the resonance that is what love is a lot of people don't understand that they're like love that's they call it new age i heard that's <laughs> it's new age no it's there's a resonance there's a frequency a there's a there's a literal vibration that's what she means by power to to love you can it's there it's all there is it's all that everything comes out of and when we return to that we return to source god pure consciousness whatever you want to call it that's it's like this terminology crisis that we're in where Everybody's fighting over the words and forgetting the principles of what we're actually trying to say. So I'm, I'm grateful yeah. that you're doing what you're doing. Unconditional love it means letting go of every freaking excuse anybody's ever had for yeah. not being in love and being loving everybody else and everything unconditionally. But really, it starts at a cellular level, yeah. loving every part of yourself within and without. 100%. And sharing the only thing we ever want to share with anybody, and that's our light, our love, our wisdom, our pleasure. That's all we got. And our truth. Yes. Well, thank you for your time here and your work that you're doing. And you know, you're traveling a lot and risking a lot. And there's, <laughs> there's a lot of... We were targeted again. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you for, for yeah. on behalf of me and everybody that's watching this. Thank you for your work. And I love you very, very much. Thank you. Hopefully we answered some people's questions too. These were a lot of the people's questions that came in. If anybody has any other questions, we can take the next few yeah. minutes to do that. And uh, in the meantime, I do want to let a few people know and just remind a few people of a few things. Number one, if you want to find a location near you, go to unifiedhealing.com, go to that locations tab. I want to mention that. I've had our office has been getting a lot of questions about unified healing. Sure. Okay, let's and go for it. And what that really brings as a benefit. Why should they join that? Okay. Because uh, they don't have to join unified healing no, to absolutely get our technology. Not. So let me, let me give the big picture. Thank you for bringing that up. Mm -hmm. The per and this is a perfect time to bring in India yes. also right now, by the way, to, to give you guys that little announcement that I told you. That's actually a really big one. It's it's something I'm really excited for. So May 27th, the interview came out. Two days later, I had this download at dinner that I was sitting at with some friends. Unified Healing was put together in literally a couple of days. And what we pretty much built over here is call it like a humanitarian marketing company in a way, to bring awareness to the centers that are, and to the individuals who are stepping up to open up centers all around the world. All of these people are doing it. All of these people are doing their best to, to really make that happen. Here they are saying, okay, well, we did it. Now what? So 
we put together pretty much everything that we had the ability to do with all the resources that I personally have with the Unified Organization at our fingertips to bring more awareness to these people. So if you go to unifiedhealing.com, you're going to see a map. You're going to see all these locations. You're going to see all the benefits that each location gives you. You're going to see who offers overnights. You're going to see all these things. So we pretty much leveraged what we've already built with this movement and this initiative to make it as powerful as possible. So when these people do open, when these individuals are open with their centers after putting everything that they have on the line, there are people showing up because at the end of the day, you still need the ability to fund that business to be able to have a successful operation. And we're seeing people right now all around the world experiencing just that. Now, in addition to the marketing side of it, to bring that awareness, because without awareness, who's going to know that you exist, right? So we do that because we have this focused approach of energy enhancement system technology. It just so happens to be that this was one of my tasks that was brought forth to me from the TLS organization when I was sent to, to interview Dr. Sandra. So it really kind of all fell together in a very interesting way. And then I just kind of rolled with that wave and said, okay, how can we bring more value? So we knew that we could bring more value through awareness, through interviews like this, through making a network that not only raises awareness, but also keeps centers and individuals accountable. There are two things that every center says okay to when they sign up and they're a part of this. Number one, they agree to not charge more than $60 per hour for any session that's two plus hours. The reason why we chose to do that is because I don't want somebody going for one hour. We want people for going for longer periods of time to be able to experience a lot of the benefits for two plus hours. I had somebody bring that up. I thought nobody was allowed to charge more than $60 because it's $75 for one hour. No, <laughs> it's it, the first hour I tell all center owners, God bless you, do what you want be reasonable, but I want people to be there for two plus hours. So that's the, the requirement that we make if they're going to be and a part of And it goes down, network. the price goes down. The, the, yeah, with packages, with packages. And, and all that. It so be less than that. There are people that with packages, they're paying like $35, $40. Now on top of that, another thing that we did, which is also saving people, I mean, hundreds, if not thousands of dollars from what I've seen already. Again, the overarching mission over here is to make this as accessible and affordable as possible. So I always try and find ways, how do we create value for the centers, but also make it affordable for all the people coming. So another thing that we made a deal with all the centers that are on the network is, if you are a part of Unify TV, which is our video streaming platform, which we built to further fund greater projects around the world, you also get a 10% discount at every single one of these centers that are part of the network. So if it's $60 an hour, now it's 54. If it's $50 an hour, it's 45. That idea is, again, to make it as affordable and accessible as possible. On the other side of the equation, you also have the center owners. Why would somebody want to join this as a center? There was something that we did over here where I asked Dr. Sandro's team, can you give a discount to individuals who are joining the actual network and aligning themselves with this mission? And thankfully, you agreed and you said no problem. So if anybody does want to open one of these centers around the world, wherever you are, hopefully at this point international, because we have a lot in the United States and we're trying to spread it out, you will be getting 10% off that purchase from Dr. Sandra's team. That means that if you're getting a 24-unit system, you're saving about $12,500 just over there for being a part of the network. We offer legal kits for, for uh, intake forms to lower your liability. We offer access for people who want to build websites on a sort of plug and play. The goal is make this as easy as possible. These people, all of you are already stepping up to make this happen. Let me use the connections and the resources that I have to make it as simple as possible. You wanna operate as a PMA in the private sector, we got a guy for that. So all these connections, we've built and I've built over the past year and a half and now we're using them and I'm using them to share with everybody around me. So the idea of this whole network is to make things accessible and affordable and valuable for everybody in the equation. But in the beginning, I said, this is a humanitarian marketing agency. Why did I say that? Because we use these funds for a very particular purpose. We use these funds to further fund these systems in other places around the world. What does that mean? That means places like India, places like Africa, places that may not be able to afford this. And even if they could afford to open a center there, can people even afford to pay? Let's fund those places for free. Let's make them open centers. You don't even have to pay. 
That means that, of course, we're not going to bring that in a place like Miami because it would impact the center owners that are opening centers up right now over there and in other places. Although there's lots of room for centers for everywhere because the need is so great. The need there's is great. So many. The need is absolutely yeah. great. So what we're doing right now is, and we're in process right now in progress to make this happen, is I'm in touch with actually this guru and a few individuals from a major ashram in India in a place called uh, Tiriputi or Tirupati, Tirupati, that's the name of the, the area. So ashram is huge. It fits about 25,000 people. There's a single room that fits about five to 10,000 people in one single grand room. Unified Healing has committed to actually donate with those funds that we've made through creating this network because we do charge center owners for those services. We're using those funds to fund the greater good. We're going to be funding and, and donating that 24 unit system to that ashram in India. It's going to be the first of its kind ever in the history of all of this. That's going to be an open system where thousands of people in India can walk in at no charge to them and experience the benefits of this technology for absolutely not a penny. And that's the purpose. That's the cause. That's the initiative. That's the mission. So it's how do we bring this all together and create value for everybody. Remember, the old system tells us if you do this, somebody's going to get hurt, but you're going to win. We're no longer in that you do something at the expense of somebody else. We're moving into the world where everybody wins. That's the difference between reductionism and holism, a reductionistic approach and a holistic approach. We are operating in the holistic paradigm. Everybody wins. You win as a person going to the center. The center owner wins by being able to have awareness raised for their center. We all support each other in the process. And in that process, we all win because we can use all those funds to bring more of this technology around the world as quickly and as fast as possible. So that is what Unified Healing is all about. Those are the missions and the values and everything that we, everything that we do. And again, I am in absolute awe that <laughs> it, it came this far, really. It came extremely far. I'm actually going to show you guys over here how far it came in just a very short period of time. Because the goal was to get to a point where we have, what did we say, 100 centers in well, about 100 countries, 100 countries with 100 centers in about by 2025. Right now, here's where we got. It's unbelievable. I'm going to show you guys the website. And again, all of this you can see in the description below. When you go to unifiedhealing.com, you go to the locations tab, it tells you the whole 10% off thing that I told you guys about. But look at this map. Australia is starting to pop up. Australia. We have a lot more coming. Huge. Yeah. Huge, huge. It's huge response from Australia. Huge, huge. And there's a lot. Uh, I believe those are going in in the teams headed there and training and stuff in December. December. Yeah. Yeah. Beginning of December. This is the United States. <laughs> a lot. This all happened over the past few months. You got Alaska, you got Canada, you got the United States. Now, we have, these are the ones that are part of Unified Healing. Yes, this is Unified Healing. Now, you don't have to be a part of Unified Healing to open up a center. You can open up a center without Unified Healing as well. And there are other centers. For there example, are, with Dr. Terry Shintani. In Hawaii. That's in Hawaii. Peer review, published studies, and, and that kind of thing. So there are other centers. You'll find them on eesystem.com. And I'm going to put that below over here as well. eesystem.com shows you an overarching sort of thing. Unifiedhealing.com shows you the individuals that are part of the centers, that are part of the network, that adhere to those requirements that we told you. So again, to be clear, you don't have to work with Unified Healing if you don't want to when you open up a center, but you could, and those are the benefits that we offer for that greater good to make it's, it happen. Yeah, and it's really, really important because coming together, there's a lot of protection in that as far as not... I mean, we we always talk about there's nothing to protect from or the more there would be to protect from, but it creates such a unified field. Yeah. I mean, we have to be the greater community. And you know, it's it, it it's really important because we're the combined unified presence, the combined unified presence that can heal the world. Mm -hmm. Can't just do it onesies you know, individual, you know, everybody playing Lone Ranger, we have to come together. 100%. I think that's the only way. That's that's the saying. It's divided, we fall. United, we fly. United, we fly. We come together, nobody can take us down. That's, by the way, if you look at nature, 
Albert Einstein says, look deep into nature and you'll understand everything a whole lot better. How do little ants take over an entire animal a million times their size? They come together. How do piranhas eat when they eat much bigger animals? They come together, not saying that we're piranhas, <laughs> but showing you how nature works. When we come together, things change. When we come together, it's much harder for certain establishments to try and take us down. And by the way, like, let's be real here. We're creating a new paradigm. You know, we're, we're going against the grain. There are different things that are going to come up when you do that. We know that. That's, I, I, I want to be transparent with that. When you're, when you're doing something that may, not going against them, but may take away certain traffic and certain funds and certain energy. It's disruptive. Disruptive from certain industries out there. It's problematic for you. You know, and they have a lot of money and they have a lot of power and they will do what they can to stop that. But it makes it a whole lot harder to stop that when we all come together, because now we're not individual soldiers. We're a collective army. The original part of the original instruction, and this was the discussion with TLS, the light system, was that when this went out, it had to be everywhere fast, so it could not be stopped. I guess that's what's happening. <laughs> we're at everywhere fast time. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in that phase right now. So do you want to answer a few more questions from the chat? Sure. If anybody has a few questions, we're going to take just a couple more questions before we bring this to a close. I, I also want to apologize to everybody who's emailed, called, emailed, called. The squeaky wheels have gotten the grease. It was almost like winning the lottery to get through to us because we didn't have a phone system yeah. set up. We didn't have anything in place. I mean, 70,000 emails in a weekend that crashed <laughs> that system, our website crashed. I mean, you name it, we went through it. So we now have a whole new facility where the production is ramped up. We have phone systems. We have two more people that have just joined our team that will be handling more of the phone calls. And so <sighs> the new number, you know, there's new new phone number, there's new uh, emails at support at eesystem.com. Do e not system. email com. info at eesystem <laughs> anymore. <laughs> support at eesystem.com. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, our phone number is what? 702-213-7435. Awesome. It's the new phone number. And that goes into a digital system. You can actually text on it because the other was a landline. Got you. So people were going, how come you haven't responded to my text? <laughs> it's a landline. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like be, be as patient as possible throughout these times because they're doing their yeah. best. They're expanding. There's a new facility for manufacturing and distribution. Very exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Monday of this last week, 96 units shipped on Monday alone. Wow. Yes. Unbelievable. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. But that's how much production has ramped up. Beautiful. At least I, I 10 cubes went that. out this week. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. We're seeing it all around the world. So somebody asked a question. We'll, we'll have room for about three questions here. Number one, somebody said, would you recommend doing a few, would you recommend doing many shorter sessions or fewer longer sessions? Like let's say 10 two hour sessions or five, whatever the episode of that would be. <laughs> <laughs> or two 10-hour sessions. Yeah. Now, as far as what I've always recommended, I said, I'd say it's better to do two hours, two or three times a week than one hour a day. Because you want the two so hours the, the, is much better than one hour. So longer exposure would be yes, better. Yes. Longer exposures and a day or two in between to integrate. Um, you know, a lot of people are going, wow, they're really seeing the huge difference when they do four hours at a time. And I have other centers going, oh, no, you don't need more than two. <laughs> Joke, you know. Anyway, we have people that will go, oh, no, we only want two hours at a time because they're trying to get more people in mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> so, so longer exposure, you're, you're, you recommend that. Yourself. Yeah, and it's cumulative. Remember, okay. it's cumulative. And each time, you've noticed, each time you've been in, it's different. Yeah. It's a different experience. Different experience every single the body time. body reorganizes, goes to another level of, of experience and function each time. Gotcha. Another question over here. I think we know the answer, but we're going to ask it anyways. Um, 
anaphylactic allergies, uh -huh. food allergies. Yeah. Have you seen uh, direct yeah. experiences with that? Quite a few times over the years, people that have had anaphylactic, that's, that's like a life-threatening reaction, allergic reaction, we'll call it that. Like I said, it's like rebooting so the body responds appropriately to the stressors versus reacting in a radical way. So I've actually had my MDs have taken people that had anaphylactic shock from, from different substances and intentionally in their presence ex re-expose them with no reaction. Of course, this is an MD doing that. Wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it's not that we recommend that you go right <laughs> back and test it. Don't that try way. this at home, people. That's what she's trying to say. Uh, if you've had an anaphylactic reaction pattern going, this can only help. And we've seen absolute total reversal of a lot of allergic responses because you change how the body responds and reacts and you change that level of inflammation where the body is on such overload that it reacts in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. When you reduce the load on the liver, for example, a lot of the allergies go away. Got you. The last question that I'm seeing that I saw a few times. One second. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, oh, okay. A okay. lot of messages. Yeah, yeah it in keeps here. coming in. Okay. The last question will be about. You somewhat answered this already, but I want to ask it directly because I'm seeing it come up a lot. Psychological issues, imbalances, diseases, um, depression, you know, thing, psychiatric conditions, things like that. What's your stance between this and that detoxes and, and benefits? Well, I mean, obviously emotional, psychological, spiritual health is all related to physical health mm -hmm. as well. Our technology is designed to work on all levels and dimensions. It's multidimensional technology in the first place. Scalar, by definition, is nonlinear, non-Hertzian, fifth dimensional. And it's, a, it's an energy portal, clearly. An energy vortex is called a scalar vortex. Gotcha. Uh, but we actually have done a study that is on the website. It's called a personality, personality orientation inventory, or a okay. POI testing, which is a psychological testing, personality orientation inventory. And they found that 95% of, of people out of 100, 95 out of 100, so high statistical significance, who experienced the following results. And there were five things they listed out. It was basically being more loving with themselves and others, uh, not reacting in the same ways as they used to. And we've seen tremendous benefits psychologically and emotionally, and of course, dealing a lot with PTSD, with the veterans, with their traumatic brain injuries, but with the depression, things like that, because it has an antidepressant effect, the way it opens up the, the brain chemistry, but oxygenating the brain and synchronizing right and left brain, brain dominance, whether it's right brain or left brain, is a fear reaction pattern, fright, flight, or fight. Okay. And people got stuck in brain dominance. And that's mm. So balancing right and left brain hemispheres is a huge, that's your whole brain thinking. That's, gotcha. that's your full brain function. And when you clear um, the toxins that have been held in the brain from the exposures of the heavy metals and, and things like that, that's so important because the body's trying to discharge everything that doesn't belong, particularly those heavy metals that have gotten lodged in the brain. And realize, you know, I've done a lot with military with depleted uranium exposures or Agent Orange and things like that. You know, tremendous benefits. Amazing. I figured that would be the answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we actually but, have research to back it up. <laughs> good. Yeah, so I actually did share the studies link and I'm going to put in the description below as well for anybody that wants to check that out. So... Before we bring this to a close, do you have any last words or a message you want to share with everybody that's listening? Oh, most important, keep breathing. <laughs> I have to do more of that. Live people breathe, dead people don't. God's only a breath away ever. The word uh, spirit comes from the Latin word sperari, which means to breathe. Also in Hebrew, by the way. Mm -hmm. the, Same thing, chi. Also the word means spirit breath. means wind in Hebrew. 
God breathed the breath of life into man. After that, it's up to us whether we're continually, constantly, consciously reconnecting with the source power and energy and light and love or not. It's only a breath away. More room for, there's always room for more light, more love somewhere. Breathe it. Awesome. So aloha. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you everybody for tuning in and being a part of this. And just, I mean, we've come so far in such a short period of time. Thanks to each and every one of you. So I really do just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for your dedication to all center owners. Thank you to everybody that made this happen in such a short period of time. And thank you to all the future ones that are going to make this happen as well to continue expanding all around the world. I want to thank our team. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, Michael Scaler heading up everything, Mela in the office, and then we've got the Marines in there doing <laughs> only what Marines can do if, if we had you know, get they be, they're mission oriented, so they're like get her done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some a lot of people have talked to Tatiana, uh, who's again Marine. She was at the you know she's former gunnery sergeant. Oh wow! And she was at the Pentagon for years as well. But she was part of our initial clinicals in two thousand one, and she's handling a lot of the phone calls. So a lot of people have talked to Tatiana. We have to give her a big shout out. And thank, thank you, you, Tatiana. And Luis is our <laughs> the Marine in there. We got the special ops guys working because <laughs> we're giving, we're hiring the veterans. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, the EE system team for anybody that's watching, thank you. Yeah. And the unified healing team, if you are watching, Our you know who you team, are. They've done miracles. <laughs> thank you to everybody. You guys are unbelievable. We can't do it without all of you. Everybody, really. You know, the teams, the people watching, the people opening, everybody has a part in this organism and this structure that we're building to really help in the best way that we know how to. So I want to remind everybody to find any location having to do with the Unified Healing Network. Go to unifiedhealing.com forward slash locations. There is a link in the description below. If you want to stay up to date with any new announcements that we put out. We do have a bi-weekly newsletter. It's all free. There's a link in the description below to sign up for that as well. So make sure to check that out and you will be updated on everything. And when you do go to unifiedhealing.com to see the centers on this specific network, check it out. Make sure to always be aware that you do get 10% off if you are a Unified TV member. Just show proof of your membership to let the center know. Big and shout out to Jeremiah. To traveling the world and, and making this happen. He heads, to, <laughs> he heads to Sweden next week or this week coming awesome. up. Uh, we have four installation teams now too. So shout out to them. They're getting everything out to everybody as fast as we can. It's awesome. There is a back order. So, but you know, want to get in the queue. They're moving as fast <laughs> as they can. Mm -hmm. And just so you guys know, this is a little legend to know who does what recently opened, opened for a longer period of time, overnights, things like that. I know a lot of people are looking for overnights. So whenever you see this little, you know, black thingy in the corner, those are the people who offer overnights as well. So all the information is over here. You could check out some testimonials on the page as well. And just check this all out. You do got frequently asked questions here and make sure to go to eesystem.com to learn more regarding the research and everything that's going on there. You can also join me and follow me on Telegram if you want some quick updates that it isn't necessarily a bi-weekly email newsletter, but more so daily updates with new centers that are opening and things that are going on at all times. So and there's an EE system page on Facebook. Oh, is there? Yeah. And you need to share that with me. So yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to put all those in the links in the description below, make sure to check everything out. And that's where you'll be able to get any updates moving forward. And it's going to be awesome. So again, thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for being a part of this. You're all unbelievable human beings and dedicated to make this work. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Jason. And until next <laughs> time. Quite a project. <laughs> thank you to all of you. Live your greatest life. No more excuses. Thank you. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, everybody. Awesome.